Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k for these two given linear equations that have inf infinitely many solutions. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problem. So before we take care of our problem, let's look at this very crucial fact. It states that if you have a two linear equation and if they have infinitely many solution, then the ratio of the coefficients of x variable is equal to the coefficients ratio of coefficients of y equal to the ratio of these constants on the right hand side as I have put down right up here. And also I can split this part, you can see this one, into three different equations. As you can see, A's and B's put it together, then A's and C's, and then B's and C's. So I can put it a more simple three equations just keep in your mind. Thus our two, these two equations can be written as by using this fact as this coefficient of x is 3 and here the coefficient of x is k plus 2. So I can write as a ratio of 3 divided by k plus 2 equals to and then I can write the ratio, this one, the ratio of the coefficients of y, which are simply negative k plus 1 divided by negative 10 equals to, I can write this one as this 20 divided by 40. I can write over here as 20 divided by 40. So far so good. Now let's go ahead and simplify these ratios. So this can be written as 3 over k plus 2. Here you can see this negative and negative sign cancels out equal to k plus 1 over 10 equals to 20 over 40 can be reduced to 1 over 2. And in the next step, I am going to pick a simple choice to make my job easier. I'm going to pick this one and this one. I'm going to equate these one together. I can write as 3 over k plus 2 equal to 1 over 2. Now in the very next step we are going to cross multiply this 3 times 2 and now we're going to multiply 1 times k plus 2. Let's finish that thing off. So that could be written as 3 times 2 is 6 equals to 1 times k plus 2 is going to give us k plus 2 now I am going to solve for k. I'm going to isolate k. So this 2, I'm going to move it on the other side. So this simply becomes 6 minus 2 equals to k, which gives us k equals to 4. So thus k equals to 4 is our answer. And in the next step, we are going to check our answer. And now let's check our answer. So that means that we're going to substitute k equals to 4 in our these two equations. So wherever you see k, I am going to replace it by 4. And let's write it down over here. So this could be written as 3x. The first equation could be written as 3x minus this 4 plus 1 simply becomes 5y equals to 20. 
after substituting k equals to 4 and here the second equation k equals to 4 4 plus 2 becomes 6 x minus 10 y equals to 40 as you can see that this second equation if I divide all these terms by 2 by 2 by 2 that is going to give me 3x minus 5y equals to 20 and our first equation is already 3x minus 5y equals to 20 and since these two equations are identical that means we are going to have infinitely many solutions so that means k equals to 4 satisfies that one and here is your assignment can you do it on your own take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye